So, liking that idea over what Clockwork could do. Bottom lane, Phoenix defending himself here. The Courier? That's a snipe. Radiance Courier has been killed. Thankfully, nothing was on it, but that's still pretty big. And especially in the early laning phase, two minute without a Courier. That's going to be a little worrisome. Ame, fiery spirits on him. Just going to Shikuchi around. He's fine. Although Lan M wants to chase, that might be a bad idea. If he gets another auto attack off, Shikuchi's in. Lan M's in trouble, and he goes down. I'll make credit for the first blood. First blood. Yeah, very ballsy decision there from Lan M to Icarus dive in. And Ami's like, thank you very much. Throws up the swarm, gets the turn kill. Batrider trying to run him down, but again, can only stick, it on, stick on him for so long. Meanwhile, middle lane, Fenrir actually goes down, playing the clockwork. Had the cogs up right there, is watching that bottom lane action. And Ami's going to escape. Bowerider ended up TPing back to base to get his bottle. He must have been a little bit lower himself. Middle lane. Shadow Fiend. Sleep actually on a Somnus there. That was a little bit of miscoordination. However, Shadow Fiend's still going to die. Other Titan obviously coming in with the gank. Oh, about the tower. They couldn't get the aggro off. FY will fall. You see the ping right after as well from FY. <laughs> He's probably calling out his teammate right there. Like, come on, man. Where's my backup? Double raise, but Refraction pretty good. All right, Refraction's down, though. No, no raises left, however, from Shadow Fiend. So not sure what that was really about. In fact, there's the sleep. In comes the swarm. They're going to take it off. I know he's dead. Yeah, that, uh, that seemed odd. They, they were not communicating there. Because clearly, one, the raids were on cooldown, but two, he didn't really have the most men. Now, I guess he did have 14 charges on the wand, but he's got the drums finished. A Shadow Blade is now queued up. That's a hook shot. Fiend's dead. Nightmare ain't going to work. Last catch. Once again by Fenrir there. And yeah, Paparazzi might just keep this going. Another Dragon Form is going to wear off any second now. So they would like to pick a fight most likely. Ooh, smoke play, meanwhile. Did they see that? I don't think they did. They didn't ping it or anything. So I don't believe that they saw the smoke. Now Chalice, he's going to be caught. And goes the lasso, the couple of races. And can he get the promise split off? No, he cannot. The Elder Time with the Echo Stomp shortly after. Unfortunately, he cannot save his teammate, so. Dragonite, Shadow Blade now finished. Pop Ross continuing to farm like a boss. There's Initiation F1. Going to be jumped. Throws out the Air Splitter. It's going to actually hit multiple heroes right here. He goes down, doing plenty of return damage, though. Fenrir, he's going to run the other way, trying to be distracted. If anything, Fiend's grip locking down Shadow Fiend. TA put it in the auto attack. Just gets the kill. Paparazzi, he was in the air the whole time due to the Storm Brewling. And they also get the kill on Phoenix nearby. Now, Paparazzi, he's just going to run. This Elder Dragon for him still has plenty of time. But he does not want to die. TA Trap will connect, however, still in that invis. And ultimately going to survive, but Elder Titan doing a great job of getting off that Earth Splitter as well before he died. And now LGD, they're gonna go for a free Roshan. It was or, okay, not not so free. Maybe not so free. It was it was going quick, but Paparazzi's now back. And he has that shadow blade. They do not have detection currently. Oh no. However, they find Young Eleven. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Ami able to help finish him off. Sentries does go down. Ori's here, though. Raises, nukes. Weaver is actually going to drop pretty quickly. Out goes the Requiem. It's all TA falls. So does Bane. The Supernova being channeled. Going to heal up Lanham. Chalice off to the side. He has to blink in one second. No, the Sunray will cancel it. Allows for the hook shot. And down he goes with the raise. Double kill for Ori. Man, talk about a complete swing. That Weaver just exploded, though. Did he, so he didn't get off time lapse, did he? That must have been what it was. Yeah, no, that that, that would have still been on cooldown if he did. They kill the Roshan. They get the Aedis. The stomp was just a little bit too late. Or he picks it out. Weaver. Oh no. Last time was ready. Yep, he's gonna use it right here. Fiend's grip will stop him in his place, but again, he's just so squishy. Dragonite just bursts him down with auto attacks and that breathe fire. Meanwhile, Bane's also going to be gone. Nice Echo Stop before Heroes, though. And TA, a big cleave on top of them all. Takes out two. Going for a third kill on Fenrir. He will get that third kill. And now it's LGD's turn to fight back. Paparazzi, Shadow Blade, pretty good item this game. Once again, keeping him alive. Uh, prevents pretty much most of the Crocodile, at least. Obviously, Fiend's Grip can technically 
still go Radiance through it, but he's going to be a strong item this game. As, oh, guess what? It's been about a minute. That means more action. Brewmaster going to cop. Primal Split. He's trying to get it off. Battery self preventing it. Though the shrine nearby, he finally gets the Primal Split off. No, he did not. I thought he cut it off for a second. The Battery Assault prevents him from doing so. And the Ear Splitter from FY, unfortunately, not able to do enough. Bane's going to go one direction. X Nova. He's not living through that. Meanwhile, back down here, or he does catch up to Elder Titan. There's a lasso keeping him in place. The triple raise takes down Elder Titan. Three more kills for Vici. Double kill. Dyer's top tower. Still, again, BKB going to be great this game. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's structures are fortified. Master going to try to make a play. Still has that primal split. Don't tell me he's going to die again without getting an off. The Echo Stop will by the time. Fiend's Grip locked in on Shadow Fiend as well. Phoenix with the Supernova in the back lines. Dragon Eye, he's dropping though. Trying to get back to the Supernova area. Paparazzi going for the TP out. Is it going to be enough? Yo, it's not. He got stopped. He goes down. Requiem Assaults in the back lines. So FY, he got the Echo Stomp path. However, maybe we'll take out Ori. And now Ori's going to be resurrecting with the Aegis. Not really anyone nearby. Can he somehow get out of this? I don't think so. Echo Stomp, he avoids it actually. Oh no, it was canceled. Never mind. So going for the turn kill on Chalice. Not enough damage. Ame picks up a kill way over here, meanwhile. Onto Phoenix. Boom, there he goes. <laughs> he still has his Elder Dragon form. He's probably going to pop it here, yeah. Radiant's Level 2. That's the attack. splash attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Whoa. Wow, he went deep. Fiend's grip and reaction, Batrider. So he's in trouble, and the Dire side's like, yeah, we're not going to save you, bro. Young 11 will indeed fall. BKB popped by Ori. He's taking plenty of damage from Weaver. Goes back to you. It's not going to stop all that physical damage working with Souls. But the time lapse right after from Ame will easily stay alive. The lift on the Paparazzi during all that from the Storm Brewling. And now Paparazzi has to BKB and run the hell away. More so fly away in the Elder Dragon form. Nice breathe fire. Maybe getting some damage. Fenrir is going to try to cut them off and be the sacrificial lamb, if anything. And he will do so. Lan M. He's in trouble still. He does have a supernova. Dire team's also grouped up. They were seen, though. They saw this smoke for sure. They're going to counter smoke, actually, as they're coming in. Oh, it's tense. Brewmast. What? Okay. Chalice, he jumped into kind of an awkward spot. Going to go for a flank position. TA, he's going to be initiated. Got the refraction up, though, and is able to blink away. There's a Storm Brewling throwing Dragonite in the air again. Still has that other Dragon Form Storm coming through. Lasso up on somebody. There's a Requiem in the midst of everyone. Elder Titan got bursted down. He buys back immediately. Throw up now onto Ori as he has that BKB active supernova. The spread out from the Radiant side. Chalice, though, he's still in the midst of it. Going to be stunned up by the Dragon Tail, though. The Primal Split obviously coming back together. He'll fall. They got the kill on Ori, however, in response as out comes the Earth Splitter on top of that. Phoenix is going to go down, and now Paparazzi. He's kind of fighting against the whole team and the damage of Weaver, especially with the Maelstrom Proxy them coming out. Buybacks on both Phoenix and Shadow Fiend. They want to come back into this. Paparazzi is going to manage to somehow live again. No, he's not. TA will finish the job with the Desolator auto attacks. And look at Fenrir going back in. He's going to die. Or he's coming back with some raises, but is this the best choice? He's going to be hit by the Fiend's group. Down goes Batrider. And Ori's going to go for a dieback to top it all off. And now Lan M is in trouble. He's going to fall. It's going to be a complete wipe. In favor of LGD, all they lost was Brewmaster and the other Titan before, to be fair. Oh, wow, TA getting low, but not low enough. Elder Dragon form still on cooldown for another 20 seconds. And they do Roshan very quick. Fenrir, he might go for a steal, but look at the positioning. Bane and Elder Titan, they're going to make it difficult. Batrider, he's ready to go in. Do they have vision? They do. They're going in. The Young Eleven snatched it. He got it. He four staffs out. He's good for now. Throwing out the Flame Break pushback. Fenrir will die, but it's for a good cause for the time being. Elder Eleven, Young Eleven, whatever he is, he's going to die. <laughs> so he steals the Aegis at least. Can he actually get out of this? No. Wow. Well, he prevents the Radiant team from picking it up. So still, still a worthwhile steal, I think. But in the Radiant's favor, the top one for the Radiant side is still standing. But they're just going to go into the base now. Remember, they do not have the Aegis. They have the Cheese on TA. Aegis was stolen and died with it right after, though. And here we go, Young Eleven. Lasso initiation. Can the extra person down? Time lapse. He cannot get it off. So Weaver will go down. Nice Earth Splitter on multiple heroes. Brewmaster in the midst of it as well with his Brewlings. He's falling back, though. Weaver bought back. He'll be able to TP in, into the fight of the Supernova. That ain't going to work. Down goes uh, Lan M on the Phoenix. Fenrir. 
Brewmasters should be coming back together in one second. They do finish off the clockwork, and in comes a Requiem way in the distance. Young Eleven manages to survive, but Chalice is beating down Dragonite with that Fiend's Grip locking him in place. Down goes DK. He has a pieback, but they honestly might just call GG here. Yeah, the Requiem was just so far away. I'm sure it might have mitigated some damage, but... Well, there's the buyback from DK, so they're not giving up just yet. But definitely a last stand. They're going to be down two heroes, five versus three. TA still with that cheese, has the Bloodthorn. Something tells me she can jump in and burst them down. Pat Rider nearly dies right away. Manages to get the four staff off and somehow survive. Now there's a sleep, and this is going to be Mega Creeps, and no doubt LGD is going to take game number one here in this best of three. So GG well played, game one in the books. And LGD victorious. Man, this game was, it was entertaining, that's for sure. It was just nonstop action. What do we have, 51 hero kills in 32 minute game? Weaver can Shikuchi out of the uh, of the static links pretty effectively, so perhaps a reason why they like this matchup. What is going on down here? Chalice, oh no. He went for the pole. He's being massively blocked, Belt or Tiny. Jukes left. Split Earth ready again, though. That's going to not connect. Meanwhile, Young Eleven goes down at the top lane. Chalice is able to TP out, but Young Eleven dropping at the top lane. <laughs> Both offlaners getting heavily harassed. I think they both were actually going for a pull. That's the thing with Leshrac, unless he has a setup stun, that split earth could be very difficult to land. Quite the long cast time. Top lane, Titaner is taking some pressure up there. I'm keeping an eye on that, but there's the echo stomp onto the splitter setup. Gets it on Doom, going for the auto attack dial ball. He does up, up as well and gets the kill on a Doom. They are going to get the turn kill onto land M, however, FY will eventually fall too, so numbers wise, two for one in favor of Ichi Gaming. Glimpse, Doom, there's a splitter set up. Echo Stomp, wake him up. Talos, Scorched Earth, man, it's just too much regen. That should help. He's good. Oh, well that's, that splitter Earth will land actually, and it might be enough damage. Other tiny he can get in for another echo stop. He's diving for this. He's going to be stopped, though, with the Inferno Blade. And he'll end up falling. They also get the kill on Disruptor. That's the case of hitting Tunnel Vision, ladies and gentlemen. Diving way too much. And they end up feeding two kills. 39-16 Razor, 25-4 and four Weaver. So Razor continues to have the advantage here in the middle. Yeah, Phantom Lancer overall leading the network chart. Or oh, he's in trouble, man. Or oh, he's dead. Oh, the echo stop saving it for now. Infernal Blade, it's, it's going to be enough, though. Able yeah, to stay on top of him <coughs> with that Scorched Earth as well. Yeah, Ori was really low at the beginning there. Meanwhile, middle lane, X Nova gets picked off. Looks like he was scouting things out. Not found in their jungle, but able to pick off the Leshrac at the top. Trying to put some pressure on the tower a little bit at least. Tide of the Storm was active. As there was a minor engagement. Bottom lane, Tidener, does he have Ravage? No, he's not level 6 just yet. He's getting close, but it's not going to be enough. Maledict's put up, and that, if anything, should tick him down. Yep, X Nova credit for the kill. Had that haste to help. Level 2 Maledict doing work. Top lane. Thought they were stunning somebody. Just the creep wave, though. Phantom Lancer going to take out Ancients. And just a couple more minutes, not even, before he's going to have the Defusal Blade. Doom up, actually, onto Elder Titan. Nice deny there from Young Eleven. Still is dead, though. Chalice running away. Has those drums. Weaver cannot chase. Yeah, they do have a Shrine use if they wanted it. What is going on down here? Holy crap. Leshrac being dove so massively. Rubik actually stole the Pulse Nova to help kill him. He's going to end up dying to the Tier 3 tower. Razor will port out, though. Ravage use as he ports in. Child's going to end up going down, but Razor's here with the Eye of the Storm. Out comes the cask as well. Bounces over to Young Eleven. You see the auto attacks of Phantom Lancer and the draining the damage of Razor. Eventually, a couple more auto attacks from him do in Tidehunter. You saw Weaver get away, but the response at the Shrine area, fighting at a Shrine, always so dangerous. 
Eh, maybe not the Pulse Nova as much, although he got the kill on last track last time. What are they find here? That would be Ori once again. Ori just is not having a good game. He is going to be I run down again. Yeah, these cores not working out the best, unfortunately. Glimpse on a Razor, so Disruptor will stay alive. Did not want to hold that. Not going to be able to catch up to him. He'll TP out in time. He goes to the bottom lane. Wants to try to Sukuchi in and catch somebody. Disruptor is the one that's caught, though. Venrir. Holding his ground, pops a shrine. Chalice is going to TP out in time. The stomp, no, he's not. Disruptor had a glimpse as well. Anyway, Split Earth will help finish. So, they do collapse for the kill on a Doom at least. Ame just joins the Echo Stomp. They don't know what's going on. It's not the fastest Roshan team, though. Oh, here we go. Sonus pops at BKB. The Ravage does nothing for him. Land M just gets torn through like his freaking paper. With a hot knife or something. No, it's usually butter with a hot knife, isn't it? Anyway, Sonus is now running after Ori. Glimpse back as the BKB wears off. But <laughs> LGD is like, all right, we'll do. We'll do Roshan now. Sure. Would a hot knife cut through paper easier? <laughs> I don't even think that makes sense. I almost want to say like a casual Hood of Defiance wouldn't be a bad choice here for Phantom Lancer, but by now probably not going to see that. A pipe would be good as a, for the team. Oh, where's an engagement over here? Doom's applied to Leshrac. Chalice just running after him with the BKB pop. Another Infernal Blade. That's going to be a kill. Going to deny him. Oh, Young Eleven. He tried to deny him. Not going to happen, though. Meanwhile, back here, they catch Disruptor. Doom did his job. He is going to go down, but a two-for-one exchange right now. Phantom Lancer's not even here. He's just pushing out top lane. LGD, they're still sticking around as if they want to fight this. Radiance top tower is under attack. Ravage ready to go. This is a chance here for VG Gaming finding the opening. National Spear going out. Ami just runs on in on top of Ori. Ori's going to be forced to force staff away. The Ravage did go off. A BKB up a Razor once again. They finish off Disruptor running after Young Eleven. Rubik is going to get picked off as well, so an eye for eye with the supports, but Titaners run down. Now Ori, again, the Doubtlock eating the Pulse Nova. It's not going to be enough, though. The Air Splitter almost gets a kill to Ame. He still had the Aegis, worst case. Just do not have the damage to finish him off. A nice job just joining the Echo Stomp once again. As Paparazzi takes out X Nova back here, though, so Paparazzi being slippery. And getting the support picks, at least. So no refresher, but Axe alone. Got the point one eye of the storm strike interval on top of that. A golden threat. Oh boy. Tide Hunter. See him on the uphill. Oh, well, they'll find Disruptor. <laughs> they take that kill. They might also get a Tide Hunter. He has a Ravage. Will he commit for it? Try to stay alive. He would have a dieback, worst case. Razor, he's going to run him down. So they're going to force that dieback, possibly. He's just diving into the base. Escape. LGD. Careful going too deep. Paparazzi's top. here now. With that Diffusal Blade. The Razor running the other direction. And makes his way out. Weaver's chasing, though. Without your your Tide Hunter, might be risky. FY, he finds Slash Rack. He steals a Split Earth. Yep. He actually, and Split Earth is a great ability because the Insta Cast is here right there. Paparazzi, he gets off the time lapse, though, at the last second. Once again, throws out a Swarm. But Ori just can't do a damn thing. Pulse Nova on top of the Earth Splitter. It's not going to connect, though. Somnus got out of range. He will get picked off. Too much damage from the Weaver. Weaver does not have a second time lapse, however, and Infernal Blade will help cut him down. He does have a buyback. 75 seconds. He's dead for currently. Middle Tier 3. They're going to start doing damage to it. Titaner's up in 7. So maybe wait for that. Go for a Ravage initiation. LHD, well, they keep going. They are missing that Eye of the Storm and Axe effect. Ame still insisting on going. Here we go. Ravage initiation. No buyback just yet on a Weaver. The sleep on top of that. Doom is applied, though, to Ori. That's not good. Leshrac's having a run. Chalice doesn't want to overcommit. Ame does, though. He says, I got you, buddy. Nope. He needs to get back now. Doppelganger backwards. Ame is getting very low, actually. The heart barely keeping him alive. Not enough. He will indeed go down. Oh, boy. <laughs> LGT. What are they doing? They had won that fight up until that point. Phantom Lancer is still dead for 25 seconds. Would have a buyback, but obviously would hate to use it right here. Doom does not have his Doom either. 
Bombs the BKB. Ori picks up the Aegis, though. Running after Lan Emmett, he's going to kill him. Ida Storm active from Somnus. See a lot of damage. Minus Armor kicking in. Ori's is going to fall. Aegis bringing him back up. Somnus trying to get that swarm kill. Going to sit on top of Ori once again. The Pulse Nova is active, but <laughs> he just denies himself. So screw it. What's the point? Then back down to six charges. So the Aegis essentially gets wasted right away. I'm guessing they still have the cheese. Yeah, Weaver picked up the cheese at least. Has a gem picked up. Is that his? Well, X Nova, so it is the team's. He's going to see Tide Hunter here. Doom not ready. Eh, they're going to get it. He popped the shrine. He went back in and popped the shrine. They're going to stop him. And Tide Hunter's going to fall. He does not. No, he will have a buyback. Oh, yeah, he's 4,000 cold almost. Saved. He's working on finishing a refresher. But now that'll be delayed. 30% critical strike. Pretty good. Razor. We'll see what he gets. Is the unstable curve really good this game? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out in a second. Leshrac, meanwhile, he's dead. Good old Doom. And he's dead for 60 seconds. So is Tidehunter. Tidehunter at least has a buyback, but the struggle bus continues for Ori. And now LGD going to try to capitalize, go right to the middle lane. The tier 3 tower already dead here. Radiance middle barracks are under attack. I have the storm active with that axe effect. Radiance so that metal middle lane just melts. Metal lane just melts. Cool. Lan M, he's going to end up dying too. He's dead for 60 now. Again, Tidener has a buyback with the Ravage. May have to just use it here soon. However, the Rack's bottom now also going to fall. Radiance bottom barracks has fallen. Radiance bottom barracks are radiant. And bottom they just might as well go top now. So yeah, they're going to force that buyback out of Tidener. The last stand for Vichy Gaming. You see Tidener actually buying a smoke even. Going to have to make a play. Ori going to charge in. He does have those. Uh, the Chi still pops a PKP. <laughs> and the LGD just completely spreads out. Somnus does get glimpsed back in. Radiance top tower is under attack. Does he have another eye of the storm? He sure does. That's going to be a quick kill on Weaver. No time lapse this time. It was ready, but he couldn't get it off. And that should be it officially. He does not have a buyback. Fenrir is also being run down. Or he at least landed the stun. There's the Ravage. And they will take a Phantom Lancer as well as the Witch Doctor Razor. The double Ravage coming out from Young Eleven. The Ravage was stolen. No, he sold a Gush actually. But they do kill Razor. So hold your horses. Vici Gaming does manage to hold with a double Ravage from Young Eleven. They're also going to get Doom to top it off. Phantom Lancer did buy back to TP in bottom lane and start pushing it out. They still have the top, both of the top racks up, but they are playing like they almost are against Mega Creeps. They have to be a little bit desperate here. Maybe try to just go down a lane, perhaps, but they're going to find Phantom Lancer. If they manage to kill Phantom Lancer, no way. This would be a dieback. Oh, no. Ame running after. Can he maybe juke them somehow? Doppelganger in one. He's going to get it off. No, he didn't get it off. He didn't even cast it. I don't know if he's done or whatnot, but he goes down. That's dieback. 120 seconds. Fenrir did fall as well, but not a big deal. So yeah, third Roshan is up. They're smoking right into them. BKB pop AFY right off the bat, as well as uh, Chalice. And he's going to run after Leshrac, who did get doomed. Got his BKB up. Doesn't really matter, though. No. Although I guess we'll prevent stuns from happening on him. And he will be able to walk away, walk off the Doom, and ultimately survive. Glimpse back on a Witch Doctor. Vici Gaming does not want to really overcommit to this. They are going to use one Ravage on a Witch Doctor. Static Storm stops a bit of the follow-up. Oh, that was their own Static Storm. Oh, no, that was stolen? I'm guessing that was stolen. Anyways, no, that was their own. Never mind. Witch Doctor goes down, though. They thought they might have been engaging into them, but he does have another Ravage, remember. Young Eleven on top of them. He's going to use the second Ravage right there. Doom's actually dropping into this. He'll go down. Somnus, though, with his BKB. The lake is up, doing plenty of damage. Young Eleven manages to get away. A last rack, however, falls in the midst of it. Destructor goes down. Lan M going to go for the Echo Stomp. Somnus doesn't care that that BKB still doing a work. He's thinking the stun on a Rubik, though. And Weaver's going to be able to pick him off as a result. Down goes Utter Titan. Buyback immediately on him. And when it's all said and done, just a lot of damage to the supporting cast around. It's a good old standoff here. Now we have both teams just do not want to overcommit to the ledge. 
However, LGD is the one doing a little bit of damage to Roshan in the meantime. There is vision for the Radiant sign in the Roshan area. Paparazzi kind of going in. Here we go. Ravage number one going to be coming out on top of the Static Storm. They do catch Witch Doctor. He's getting low at least. There's the Air Splitter in the midst of it as well. Ame. He's dropping about Half-Life himself, trying to sit on top of Ori. BKB is activated, going after Young Eleven now. Buyback on a Weaver, who did die right off the bat in that fight. He's going to be rejoining that team. Somnus, though, running after that Weaver once again. That would be a dieback. He's barely surviving against Ame. Ame, Rear Lance is going to be able to finish him off. No, he manages to somehow survive as the second Ravage comes out, and Razor has to buy back now. You see Roshan, he's still not dead just yet. It is fairly low. Vichy Gaming wants to finish it off, but now Razor coming back in with his second life. And Weaver not having a buyback. He's just so scared to overcommit right now. But a great echo stop on a couple of heroes. Razor included as well as a Phantom Lancer. Doom running back in. Brennan played active on last track to Shiva's. Plasma Field. They are going to be going on the Young 11. He's in a bad spot. He will probably end up falling here at the end. Yep, he's going to end up burning down to that Inferno Blade. You look at the base meanwhile. They lost one Tier 4 Tower already. So while that whole fight was happening, they lose a Tier 4 Tower. More advantage for LGD. They're going to go back into the Roshan pit. Radiant Buyback on Tidehunter. He really does not want to give this up. He might just blink in and try to steal it. He's going to go for it. Here we go. The clash of the Roshan pit. Perhaps the final fight of the game right now. Young Eleven, he's a beast right now. Somnus, he's the one that picked up the Aegis, by the way. BKB active. Young Eleven will go down. That's a tieback on him. He's dead for two minutes. As now you see, oh, he's trying to kite away. That's not going to work. To the link, 183 damage for Razor stolen. Going after Disruptor. The purge is constantly happening every two seconds, I believe. As well, Lan M, Kinetic Field will keep Radiant's Razor away at least. And Weaver also barely survived on top of that. Again, the Shikuchi movement speed kicking in now of the plus 200. Disruptor, though, he doesn't have Shikuchi. He's going to be run down. Or he's manages to get the kill on Razor as the Aegis will bring him right back up. But you could tell lacking the damage mainly because Paparazzi seems like he's just Radiant's constantly playing so safe because he kind of has to. Ami's going to run in. Lan M will fall. And... The Ancients die, and that should be it officially. LGD going to go to the minor that is the Star Ladder I League season number four as they're going to qualify with a 2 nothing series victory LGD. over VG Gaming. LGD, they're definitely a team to look out for in 2018. They made it to the all three finals of these qualifiers currently going on. They lost in the first one. They win this one, and they have one more to happen.